Rossi played some beautiful football tonight, but it doesn't feel like one they got away from you. Yeah, absolutely. We created enough chances to score plenty of goals to put the game to bed. Um, but in saying that, that's a team where Sydney Wanderers have conceded two goals all season and we scored two and created a number of clear-cut chances to score more. So very happy with that. Um, and I know that the players are upset and frustrated in there um, because they do feel that you know we uh, dropped two points, um, but we got into areas that we could score those goals and, and created. We scored two beautiful goals as well, and created a number of other chances from the football that we were playing. So. early in the game now, but is that something you've really worked on in terms of the way, because getting the team out there, firing from minute one, because that seems to have happened quite a lot this year, scoring goals early yeah, in the matches. Which is good, um, but it's just the football that we play. You know, we attack from the very first minute and try and attack from uh, until the very last. And it, when we're doing it well, then, um, you know, we create some good opportunities. I mean, again, against Perth, we created a number of opportunities to score a lot more goals. But like I said, I, I can't, I can't be too frustrated, um, and, and I hope the players aren't either. I know during the game it gets, um, you know, there's, there's a lot of emotion, but it, the amount of chances that we create in games is really, really pleasing. So do we set out to score goals early? No. Do we want to score goals early? Yes. Do I want to score goals late as well? Yes. So we, as long as we score goals. Andy, Anthony Burke Gilroy came off early again. Two weeks in a row now where you've had players come off inside the first 10, 15 minutes. How disruptive is that as far as a game plan you've got sort of basically being sort of thrown <coughs> up in the air? Or do you have faith in the, in the subs you have to be able to cover, cover sort of the, those sort of situations? It, it's actually frustrating is probably not the word, um, but it's difficult because we have players on the bench that can play a certain amount of minutes now. The credit to Jez Lofthouse. Um, we didn't expect him to, to come on so early and he played probably 50, 55 minutes, whatever it was, and, and did really well. Um, but we had planned maximum 30 for him, max. So, you know, when these things happen, then you look also um, at the younger players, can they last longer? You, you never know. So we just have to adjust to, you know, whatever's thrown at us. Um, and last week was the same. So there's not much we can do about it. It's just part and parcel of the game. Speaking of young players, uh, Shay Cahill yep. made his debut tonight. How do you think his performance was, so his first minutes as professional footballer? Yeah, very good. And he had a massive chance to, to score that goal. Um, and it was an amazing save by Lawrence Thomas. So when I look at it, like I said, I'm, I'm really pleased with with a lot of the players. Sometimes I feel, um, because it's so hard the way we play, and it is exhausting, and we do uh, exert a lot of energy, um, sometimes you've got to push them that little bit more. And um, But he got himself into a, a goal-scoring opportunity that you know we see in training um, you know, quite a bit. He's a very, very good finisher, very good. So I'm, I'm pleased for him, um, but like I said, I'm, I'm pleased you know, for all players that come in and play and, and try and do their best to play within our playing style. Like I said, it's just disappointing that, you know, for the players, we create those chances and, and play the football that we play and, and it's entertaining, I get it. Um, to not come away with the three points is, is sometimes difficult to uh, swallow. It's a silver lining, Lofthouse. Seems to be a raw player through and through. Like the way you want to play, seems like you will fit. If you need to play him again next week from the start, he fits in with the way you go about things. Yeah, um, the, the only issue that I would have with that is that we need to someone that's going to come on for him. So, and that, that's uh, a, a position. Again, from the start of the season, we had Carlo Armiento out there, who's an out and out winger. Um, obviously, he's been injured for a long period now. 
So we had to put Henry Hoare in that position, whereas he becomes an inverted winger. But when I look at the out and out wingers that we have, <laughs> there's not too many there. So, um, you know, it's something that we'll have to look at. Um, but we will assess and review the game uh, at the beginning of the week. Um, I'll allow the players to have the weekend off because they deserve it. And then we work from Tuesday onwards for the Adelaide game and, and we'll see who is fit enough to play and, and who's fit enough to sit on the bench and, and make a difference. Speaking of raw players, uh, what did you make of Henry Hall filling in for obviously Flock, who's injured his quality? Yeah. <coughs> how, how about that for a performance? Obviously playing on the inverted wing for the start of the year, Coming in as a came, what did you feel about that? So if you remember the quarter-final against West Sydney Wanderers at Perry Park, Henry Hoare played in that position. And Henry Hoare played in that position until Flo, Flo Berenguer uh, came in and did extremely well. So, you know, you know and, th and this is where I say it's important that we have players from Queensland, not just Brisbane, but from Queensland that have followed the Brisbane Raw that that want to bleed for the Brisbane rule. Because there's one thing that I remember saying to them at, at the beginning of the season, one thing that really impressed me last year, no matter if they were playing good football or bad football, or whatever football that they were playing, they were fighters. And I've asked a lot of them from day one in pre-season, and then Henry Hall is one of those players. You know, he's, he's, a, he's a Queenslander. You know, Waddingham, Queenslander. Um, McNichol, Queenslander. Brownlee, Queenslander, these are kids. Because you can't really say that Henry Hall's a, um, you know, a seasoned campaigner because he's, he's not. Um, you know, then, then you've got Taras Gamulka, who, who's still 21. Um, our third choice goalkeeper at the moment is uh, George uh, Plusden, 15 years of age. Queenslander. This is pretty exciting. And you know, I know it's the beginning of the season, and I know we didn't get the three points, but you know, we're doing something right here. It's the home, sorry, one last question. The home, the home record now, still undefeated after three games here at Suncorp. Is that something that is important to <coughs> decide to ensure that, you know, get maximum points at home and then fight away? Yeah, I think the most important thing is that we take uh, each game as it comes. Um, and obviously we want our uh, home ground here at Suncorp Stadium to be a special place for us to play in, you know, with our supporters uh, and make it, extremely difficult for other teams to come here and we always want to win. There's one thing that I'll tell you, whether I play at home or away, um, I shouldn't say I, us, as a playing group, we always want to win. We, we don't go anywhere for a draw or for a loss. We'll go out and try our best to win the game and, and um, unfortunately, you know, like I said, Crad plenty of chances to win that game tonight and unfortunately, Probably something to improve on that that second goal. The first goal um, was a bit frustrating that they scored because it's straight after the break. Um, but the second goal was probably more frustrating because it was preventable. Let me put it that way.